be back. Set. Ready. And action. We're not machines, you metal mother. Christian, I think you can get out of So my head is more well pointed. Head that way. Yeah, just tuck back in just a little bit. Yeah, and then we'll get you out of the position. Okay, come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. There's a tough. There's a tough. Pull the gun in. Looks pretty good from where he was. Nine? Yep. Yeah? Okay. And then you. adopting human behavior. My past has caught up with me. He overcame his programming to take matters into his own hands. In this movie, I'm confronting things that are more powerful and dangerous. I love what they've done with his character. I'm going to help you protect the girl because I choose to. I've saved three billion lives. Enough of a resume for you. This movie continues the story of Sarah Connor that was started years ago. 
knowing the certainty of the future to come. This character is a warrior for humanity against machines. I'll be back. This is a brave, kick-ass action hero. She did not wait to be hunted by a Terminator. She hunted for death. I am going to kill you, you metal mother. Expect a big pain, brother. The whole body's a weapon. Sorry. This Terminator is the Rev-9, the most effective killing machine in the franchise. It's so deadly because it can split into two different entities. It is really scary. His powers and capabilities, they're pretty damn spectacular. Come with me or you're dead in the next 30 seconds. You can go into battle and fight a Rev-9, but killing a Rev-9 is almost impossible. Never seen one like you before. Almost human. I am human. Just in here. The Kennedy Davis's character is really interesting. Is she good? Is she bad? She's definitely not entirely human. She can stand toe to toe with the Terminator. Grace comes back from the future to ensure the safety of young Danny Ramos. You, Danny, you're my mission. She is the ultimate protector. Thanks, lady. Don't thank me yet. There's a machine out there, and it wants to kill me. Danny is a really smart, young, brave woman. I want to stand and fight. Her journey is much like Sarah's was. She's this woman who gets called upon to take the reins in her own life and to act bravely. She's got the killer instinct. She doesn't think she's anything special but she's obviously of great significance in the future. Nobody else is gonna die because of me! Last night, I was standing there looking at a monitor. On one camera was Linda Hamilton. And on another camera was Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought, holy fuck, I'm making a Terminator movie. Okay, I'm just... Okay, let's recapture that tone. It's R-rated. It's grim. It's gritty. It's fast. It's intense. Work hard and play hard, and this is what this movie was all about. Tim has this fresh vision, and like what he did in Deadpool, his action is huge. It's just a fast white knuckle ride. You better watch your ass. I hunt Terminators. You metal motherfucker. It follows tonally in the footsteps of T1 and T2. That adrenaline rush feeling, that sense of terror. In this film, the action is 10 times bigger. It's like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. This film is relentless. It just does not stop. Just fucking insane. Dark Fate is the direct sequel to Terminator 2. We pick up the characters that we knew from Terminator 2 and we carry them forward. We get to continue the story with Jim back in the writing and the producing chair. He knows the material like nobody else. I think for fans of the franchise, the biggest thing is that Linda's returning. People love this character. People love wonderful. Sarah's a force to be reckoned with, and I was ready to explore that. I'm delighted to work again with Linda Hamilton, to work with Cameron, Tim Miller, and with all the new cast. This new film has recaptured that tone of those first two films. It's gritty, it's fast, it's intense. And it's just a white knuckle ride.